Hey guys, how's it going? A Rubik's Master here, and today I'm going to be going over the Striker IFV. This is one of the four units I got over this last event. I got the Striker IFV, the um, third helicopter, whatever it's called, the Force Recons, and the Moz teams. But we're going over the Striker IFV today because it's the one I have used the most. Uh, now real quick, let's just click on it and look at its description under the Promote tab. The Stryker IFV Transport is a more durable and close-ranged variant of the Stryker. If it gets destroyed, Force Recon jump out and help finish the fight at the same level as your army's Force Recon. So, the most important thing to see here is it is a close-ranged variant. What that annotates is that the range on this unit is 235, whereas the range on the regular Stryker is 245. It's only a 10 range difference, which isn't really that much, but it kind of is. I mean, it, it's a little bit. It can make the difference between being out of range of a machine gun turret while picking off buildings and not being out of range. So, uh, the other differences between the regular Striker and the Striker IFV, the Striker IFV takes up 25 more capacity. It does about 200 more damage per unit and has about 38, yeah, about 3,800 more health. So what this boils down to is that if we look at even amounts, which means you would have to have, you can either have for the same amount of space, four striker IFVs or five regular strikers. If you have four striker IFVs, you're dealing slightly, just slightly less damage than you would with a normal striker, but you have the health of an extra striker, basically. Same health, like about the same health in each group, a little less damage from the striker IFV, but the striker IFV has a lot more health per unit, so you're damage per second isn't going to drop off as quickly when you attack a base. Now, the Force Recon dropping out, really with the Humvee IFVs and the PK IFVs, it, the machine gunners and riflemen dropping out were never really a draw to me. The Force Recon, on the other hand, while they aren't super powerful units, and you get them basically the same time you get the Maws, so they kind of get overshadowed a little bit. But if you look at Force Recon, even at level 2, they deal 314 damage per second. And they have, while well, mine with equipment, have over 3,000 health. Now, the DPS doesn't seem like a lot until you realize that the capacity used on these is 20. I'm going to stop real quick here because I'm getting into the review of the Force Recon guys. The bottom line is, when a Force Recon drops out of these Striker IFVs, I have had it be a game changer. As long as you keep your tanks in front of your Striker IFVs, if one happens to get destroyed, your Force Recon guys hop out and they just do tons of damage. They wreck everything. It's pretty awesome. I love it. It's pretty great. Um, a couple, uh, well, one other super interesting thing about this vehicle is, uh, well, it's Mark I chassis is the same as the other light vehicles. It just increases health. But if you look at the main gun modification, it is a 155 millimeter artillery armament featuring an automatic loading system and armed with high explosive extended range projectiles. Oh my goodness, what is up with this? Do you guys realize how big 155 millimeter projectile is there's nothing in this game right now that shoots a 155 i don't think i haven't looked at the t14 armata and the and the um merkava those may shoot something similarly sized but to give you an idea the abrams shoot a 120 millimeter projectile so with this equipment on your striker ifvs your striker is shooting a larger round than your heavy tank. Pretty ridiculous. It's a massive round. <laughs> Just a little interesting tidbit. I was kind of shocked when I saw that. I mean, I used to be in a field artillery unit, and uh, we used 777 stationary artillery cannons that shot 155s. And it is, they're, they're so powerful. I just imagine, like, 
if a striker had to shoot a 155 at an angle, it would just knock the whole thing over. <laughs> just kind of a funny thought. Because strikers aren't actually all that heavy. Anyway, off of the nerd stuff for a minute. So, something to think about with the striker IFV that's different than the PK and the Humvee is... um. People have asked me, you know, what unit do I need to get this event when the monthly events are coming up? And I always tell them if they don't have the Humvee IFV, get the Humvee IFV. That needs to be the priority. Because even if you're a kind of low level, uh, the difference in cost between a Humvee and a Humvee IFV isn't that bad. I mean, it's 25000 for a regular Humvee, but it also costs crit cards. And it is 100000 for the Humvee IFV. So even if you just unlock the Humvee, it's best to just go ahead and have the Humvee IFVs and grind out a little bit of extra resources to build them. Like, it's not that big a deal. But if you look at the regular striker, it costs 450000 to build, which may seem like a lot, but at my level, really, I get like almost 300000 a day just from my producers. So... I just have to attack a couple bases, and I can build one of those. The Striker IFV costs 1.4 million. Million. It is ridiculously expensive. Stupidly expensive. So, <laughs> like, it's almost too expensive. It's not almost. It, it is too expensive for me to really use it. There's so much other things that I could use 1.4 million metal on in my base defenses, my structure upgrades, my unit up, my other unit upgrades that I need to do. That's what I need that metal for. So really these striker IFVs are even out of reach for me. So if you're in that like upper 40s range or mid 40s range and you're thinking about getting the striker IFV or there's something else you kind of really could use like a crit card packs and whatnot, Get those crit card packs. Save the Striker IFV for later when 1.4 million metal won't be that big of a deal. It's, um, yeah, this was pretty surprising. I did get warned in chat, but I bought it anyway because I wanted it because they look pretty cool. So now I'm stuck with a unit I'm not really going to be able to build. But it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and a little overview of the Striker and the little warning not to get it if you're too low of a level. Use your hard-earned point on something else. And until next time, y'all have an awesome day.